All right, what's going on friends? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to manually light your pellet stove. So if your igniter went bad, or maybe you just don't even have an igniter on your pellet stove and you need to light it, I'm gonna show you the easiest way I've found to manually light this. Now, if your igniter went bad, everything seems to be working. Maybe you have a big pile of pellets in here like this because they didn't ignite. We're gonna to have to get some of them pellets out. You might wanna just open your ash pan door up and put like a dust pan down into there and just take your hand and pull some of them good pellets down in there so maybe you can reuse them if you want or you can do like I do I have a small little shop vac that I just cleaned it out real good and I'm only going to suck out just a little bit of them pellets because then we're going to light them up because if you try to turn it on and light it like that it's going to keep feeding pellets and they're all lot some of your fire might go down right into your ashes so we got to get some of them out so I'll, I'm gonna suck some out and I'll show you what it looks like. So let me suck some out. That should be good. Also, before I show you how to light that off, if you are gonna put a new igniter in, I recommend, highly recommend, just buying an OEM igniter. The original igniter that came with your Harman pellet stove. Not a cheap 20 or $30 one, because it's probably only gonna last a few months. My first igniter, I think, lasted about 10 years. And that was letting it ignite and go out, ignite and go out. But now I have another new one because I bought, I did buy one last year and put down in the comments if you bought an igniter from the warm-up shop in Williamsport, because that's where I bought my igniter. And I'm pretty sure they told me it was an OEM igniter and I think I paid OEM prices, but it only lasted, I think that thing lasted four or five months maybe. Just kind of guessing it might not even been that long. So I'd rather spend the money on the more expensive original one and have it last. So I'm not very happy with the one I bought from the shop in Williamsport. All right, so I sucked out some of the pellets. Now you're gonna have to put your stove in manual. You can't leave it in auto. Cause if we leave it in auto, start that up Eventually it's probably gonna go out and it won't restart. So you have to put it in manual. And then I kind of like to normally keep my feed adjuster down on a lower level if I have it in manual. It seems like it helps it not burn my pellets up as fast. For me, I'm gonna be able to, I'm gonna turn my stove off. And then once I turn it back on, it's gonna try to start feeding this thing pellets. And I'm gonna get my torch. I'm gonna light this torch up. Turn this on a little bit. Start lighting them up. You might want to have a glove on when you do this. Yeah, I should have put my glove on before I burn my hand. Good, let's see what happens. Let's see if it lights up. Make sure you have pellets in your hopper. All right, and if you need to know how to replace your igniter, I have a, also have a video on that. And I think in that video, I will sh I show you how to check your igniter to make sure it definitely was bad. Unless it looks like it blew up, then you 100% know it was bad. Sometimes they just, they, especially the real cheap ones, it looks like they start blowing apart. So I'll have a link to that at the end of this video. But that's it, that's how you, or that's how I manually light my pellet stove. It's definitely the easiest way I've found to do it. So I hope this video helped you out. Please leave me a comment down below to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to help support my channel. And try to watch one of my other, I must have like 13 videos on this Harman Pellet Stove. God bless and stay warm.